Well, welcome back guys. So for this video, we're going to be skipping around a little bit. We're going to be filling in some of those gaps. So uh, let's just take a look at this area as yeah, we want to tackle this. Uh, let's select this edge here and enter F to enter fillet mode. And uh, let's round this edge off. Let's hit OK. And let's rotate around backside and turn off this canvas so we can actually see what we're doing. And I want to select this underneath face here and just pull this down to add a bit more thickness to this. And let's hit F to enter fillet mode and select this corner and round that off so it transitions smoothly. Now, what I want to do is create a housing area on the top of this uh, cage here. So to do that, let's go to the left view, let's select this surface and create a sketch. And we can use our two point rectangle to start from this top edge here and just bring it all the way down, passing, extending paths, the reference image. That looks fine here. Now we can right click, hit OK. Now let's select this profile we just created. And let's press pull this. So if we go to the top view and let's just toggle back on this canvas so we can get a better representation of what we're doing. And I wanna pull this arrow matching this reference line here. And this is, will be a housing area, so select that, ensure it's on cut, hit OK. Now what we can do is, uh, let's toggle back off this canvas so we can see what we did. Once this, uh, the body is mirrored, it'll make a lot more sense later on, but for now, just try to bear with me. So let's select this surface here on top and go to Create Sketch. And I'm going to use the two-point rectangle tool to create a uh, rectangle inside this area, but let's give it some space. So from this top left corner, which is the center line, all the way down here to the bottom right area, ensure you give it a little bit of space in between so you'll see what I just did. Now we'll select this profile, and we're going to press pull this. I'm going to pull this up. Go to the right view so we can see this a bit better. Pull this up higher. And we can actually turn on the canvas to see this a bit better. And we want it to be around this area. Right here at this line. Change from new body to change it from join to new body and hit OK. Now what I want to do is select this surface here and go to create sketch. And I'll use the two point rectangle once again from this top left corner. And I'll drag it all the way down to the right corner. And what you want to do is extend beyond the profile that we have highlighted here. And we're going to clip this off later so it doesn't really matter. As long as you extend beyond that box, it's fine. So somewhere around here. And that top line should be matched with the reference line. So let's select the profile and we'll right click, press pull. And we're going to press pull this further than the actual body that we started with. So you'll see right around here, that looks fine, 0 0.05 millimeters. It's uh, pretty accurate, I'd say. So let's hit OK. Actually, let's change it from one side to two sides. And let's grab this white arrow right here. We'll pull this. And then we'll go to the side here and select that to reference it. So we know how far to bring it back. And we'll change it from join to new body. Now, you'll see the back. What we need to do is go to modify split body. Select our top body. For the splitting tool will be this back face here. Now we can go to the bodies layer and right click and remove that. Now we will go to combine and combine these two bodies and now it's one. And that looks really good. So back in the right view, let's toggle back on our canvas and I want to select this face here and go to create sketch. Now we're going to use our two-point rectangle again and we're going to start referencing these teeth here. I don't know if that's the correct term but I'll just I'll call it that for now. <laughs> So that's fine. And we could duplicate this on the profile, I mean on the actual sketch, but I'll just select the profile and press pull it. And I'll just duplicate the bodies here in a second. So let's reference this back line. Let's turn off the canvas and let's reference this line. So to push it back to that face, change it to new body. And what I'll do really quick is uh, I'll go to modify draft. I'm gonna draft this. Modify draft. I'm going to left click hold so I can select the bottom face here. And for the second face will be this back one here. Now I'll just slide this to angle this and hit OK once I'm satisfied. Now back in the right view. Yeah, that looks fine here. That's actually pretty good. So let's go back to the right view. I'm going to go to create. Well, let's turn back on the canvas first so we can see what we're doing. Now we're going to go to create. 
and then go to pattern, pattern on path. Select our body, change the pattern type to body, ensure it's on bodies. Now we can select this body here. Go to path, will be any of these lines will do. So we'll just choose this one for the sake of, sake of convenience. And we'll drag this down here to match the last one. And let's change the quantity from three to, uh, I think I see 13 here on the reference. Yep, and let's hit OK. Now I'm going to combine these together. So I'll, what I'll do is toggle off this canvas because it's a bit blinding. That looks good. So let's go to combine, select the main body, and then to the in the bodies layer, we're going to select the first one right underneath it, and then shift select the last one, which will select all of them underneath. And ensure it's on join and hit OK. Now back in the right view, I want to start working on this pipe that actually goes through, which is the barrel. So let's toggle off some of these uh, bodies here. We'll turn that off and we'll turn off this piece as well. And we'll just select this surface, right click, press pull. And we'll just pull this all the way down. And we'll pull it beyond this body here. So drag it here, hit OK. Now I'm going to go to modify split body select this body, which is the barrel, and then the splitting tool will be this slanted surface here. Now, if I go to the left view here, we can just select this and uh, remove it. So right click, remove. Now everything's nice and perfect. So we can start toggling back on some of these bodies that we turned off. Now we can start working on some other areas. So let's turn back on our canvas and let's do this little handle area. I don't know what that's actually called, but let's create a sketch on the 2D background and let's use our align tool to start uh, outlining this reference. So I'll grab this line tool and I'll start somewhere around here, which is parallel to this area on the sketch. And I'll pull it a little further because once we add our fillet, it'll actually adjust the line. And it doesn't really matter how far you go here through this body, just as long as you go through it or past it, I should say. So from around here to up around this area, and we'll connect these two points here to close off this area. And I'll grab the two point rectangle tool and I'll start right here at this corner and I'll bring it all the way through matching this line here at the bottom. And I'll right click hit OK. Now we can shift select all three or all four of these profiles and we can press pull it. And we'll press pull it somewhere around here. Maybe I should turn off this canvas so I can see this a bit better. And this is going to be really thick because we will be mirroring this in the end. So this is fine. Change it from cut to new body. Hit OK. Now what I'll do is go to modify draft. I'll select the bottom face and the side face and I'll just adjust this to have it angled a bit. Once satisfied, we'll hit OK. And I think I'll adjust this a little bit. No, that's fine. Now we can go to the right view, turn back on our canvas, and let's hit F on the keyboard to enter fillet mode. And let's just grab not this edge, this corner edge here, and we'll just adjust it to match the reference. And this looks good here, and let's hit OK. We're gonna hit F again to enter fillet mode, and let's grab this edge here. And it's imperative that we do these separately so they're not all the same um, parameters. So this looks fine. Let's hit OK. Let's hit F one more time. And we'll grab this first edge here to match this reference. And order does matter, guys, when you're doing fillets and chamfers. Order matters heavily in Fusion 360. So let's enter fillet once again. Let's grab this edge here. Let's round this off. That looks great. Let's hit OK. And fill it one last time, which will be this area. And after we're done with this, we'll just uh, end the video here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.